video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called find closest elements. So given a sorted integer array, two integers k and x return the k closest integers to x in the array. So the result should also be sorted in ascending order. An integer a is closer to x than an integer b if a minus x, right, the absolute value or the distance between x and a is less than uh, the distance between x to b, right? So here you can see we have an example, right? We have we have an array, and in this case, k is four, x is three. So three is here. The target value is, is this, and then we want to return uh, four closest elements um, in the array in ascending order, right? And in this case, the array is like this because you can see here um, the the four closest element is going to be two, four, three itself, and also one. Why one, not five? The reason why that happened is because of this, right? So you can see a minus uh, a minus x. Basically what it means is that um, the distance between one and three, the absolute value difference is that two, right? And the, um, the absolute value or difference between five and three is two. And basically what it means is that if it's less than, right? Or if these two are equal to, and a is basically less than uh, and a is less than b, then basically means that a is closer to x. Okay, so therefore one is closer to x, so we add one there. So basically, what it means is that we want to find elements that are smaller, right? So basically, are, that are smaller than um, than b, pretty much. Um, so therefore, we want to pick the leftmost elements. Um, and then in this case, you can see we also have another example, right, where x is a negative value, right, we, which is out of bound, which is like less than the, the less than one. So in this case, what we have to do is we still have to return the k closest element, which in this case, one, two, three, four, right. So um, in this case, you can see the array is sorted, and then we can have negative values. Uh, we can also have duplicate values as well. And uh, in this case, k is always bigger than or equal to one. Um, yeah, so how can we be able to solve this problem? So in this case, to solve this problem, one way we can do it is we can be able to use a sliding window or in this case, sorting, right? We can be able to sort the uh, based on this, right? Based on the absolute value or distance between the current element, right? We, we can be able to use a comparator, right, to check um, well, basically sort the array based on the comparator and the comparator is based on the distance between the current elements or the absolute values of current element minus x, right? And then at the end, we basically sort the element, but uh, sort the array. And this will give us a time complexity of n log n. So that's not the most ideal solution. But what we can do instead is one, uh, one is we can use a sliding window technique, right? So what we can do is that we can find uh, let's say k, uh, let's say x is four, right? So first we do a binary search, we find that element. And then what we can do is that we can use sliding window technique. And basically we can use two pointers, right? And then in this case, we can have a pointer points to here, right? So we're gonna basically expand our window. So first we know that this element is close, closest to four, right? Closest to x. So we add that onto the array, right? Um, and then we add three and then we add five. And then we add two, and then we add, uh, in this case, k is five, so we add six, right? So at the end, we basically, um, in this case, we're gonna, at the end, sort the array, right? Or in this case, we can be able to add it in order, right? Once we expand our window up to here, we can just add these elements, right? So in this case, this is our left pointer, this is our right pointer. So we iterate, we use a for loop, uh, starting from the left pointer, iterate to the right pointer, we add each and every single elements, right? So we can do it that way. As you can see, the time complexity in this case is gonna be big O of log, uh, big O of log n, because we first have to find the element, right? We have to use binary search to find the index, right? Once we find the index, uh, we have to uh, basically use sliding window technique to uh, expand our window. And then once we have our window, we can be able to iterate these elements added onto the, the list, right? But the thing is that um, in code, it will be a lot harder to implement um, because there's a lot of things that we had to watch out for. Um, but the thing is that there's a better way to solve this problem in an even better time complexity, right? Um, so another solution, um, it, what we can do is that we can be able to first find the leftmost element, right? Once we find the leftmost element in our window, 
we can be able to um, basically iterate from from the left to left plus k, right? So basically, what's going to happen um, is that we have our list, right? In this case, this is our list. If we want to find the leftmost or the left boundary, right? The left boundary for our window. Um, what's going to happen is that we know the left boundary is always going to be less than n minus k, right? n is the number of elements that we have in our entire array. And then m is basically the middle point, right? So the midpoint. Um, and then k is basically the range and the x is the target. So we know that the left boundary is always going to be less than n minus k because in this case, let's say the target, let's say x in this case somehow is equal to n, right? Then in this case, our left boundary is going to be n minus k, right? Does it make sense? Because we want to find uh, n number, n closest elements, right? So our left boundary will be n minus k. So therefore, the left boundary uh, maximally, right? Worst case scenario, the left boundary is equal to n minus k. So what we can say is that we can be basically just perform our binary search on this side, right? So we only search n minus k elements to find the left boundary. Once we find the left boundary, we can just iterate k number of times to find the to add those elements from left boundary to left boundary plus k to add those elements onto the list and return that at the end, right? So what we have to do is we have to create a window to find the correct boundaries. And basically our goal is to define the, uh, the, the balance, right? The, the balance difference, the balance distance between the left boundary and this is basically our left boundary. And X is basically our target, right? This is basically our right, uh, right boundary, right? And you can see that uh, this is array, A is array, mid is our midpoint. So a midpoint plus K is basically our right boundary, right? Because in this case, uh, we have K closest elements. We wanna find the K closest elements and then um, in this case, we uh, the window size will be k, size of k. And when, what I mean by balance is basically means that the distance, right, the, the difference between x and the left boundary should be um, close or equal to the, uh, in this case, the right boundary, right? The difference between x or in this case, the right boundary minus the x, right? So in this case, you can see here, don't worry about the case here. Don't worry about this condition here. Like, we just want to go over the problem, right? We just want to go over the situation. So in this case, we have zero here. We have n minus k, right? And we basically, this is our search range. We have our midpoint, and then our search value is x, right? x is on the left. So in this case, we have our window, right? This is our window. This is our left boundary, and this is our right boundary, right? So we know that this left boundary, right, in this case, is um, in this case it's on the right. So in this case, there's nothing in our in our in our window that has the target x. So what we had to do is we have to shift our our window to the right. Uh, sorry, to the left, right? And let's say we shift our window to the right. I'm uh, sorry, to the left. And then in this case, we realize that um, this is our midpoint, and then zero here and minus k, right? Again, and then in this case, our midpoint is right here. So we notice that the distance, right, the distance or the difference between uh, x minus the left boundary, right, is if it's smaller than distance between the right boundary minus x, right? If the right boundary, in this case, this element right here is minus this element is bigger than uh, this element minus this element, right? then therefore this is not balanced, right? And you can see that because we have, uh, we have, let's say we have few elements right here. Let's say in this case, this doesn't go through, right? In this case, X minus this element is smaller than uh, this element minus this element. Then in this case, this is not a balance, right? There's more values, there's more distance, right? There's more, um, more space here, right? There's more elements or there's more space here. So what we had to do is we have to, uh, move our window to the left so that we can be able to balance, right? The balance the distance, right? Not how many elements that we have in between x to the left and x to the right, but more like the distance, more like the difference between x and the left boundary and the, and the, and the distance uh, difference between the, the right boundary and the, uh, the target value, right? 
So in this case, what we have to do is we have to move our window to the left so that we can make the X to shift the right a bit more, right? And then let's say we have a situation like this where in this case, X is uh, um, basically has a smaller difference between the, the right boundary minus X, right? And let's say we have the X minus the left boundary, right? This distance right here, right, is actually, in this case, is actually bigger than this distance right here. Then what we have to do is we have to move the window one, uh, to the right so that we can be able to balance that, right? We can be able to balance the distance, right, uh, between the left boundary and the target and target with the, the, the right boundary, right? And same thing here, if it's on the right side, uh, we know that x right minus this value right here, right, and then it's actually bigger than the uh, the distance from x from this uh, the right boundaries to the x. Then we have to move our window onto the right. So now let's get into the actual condition. Like why is this? Uh, like how, what, what's really happening here, right? So you can see that this is our mid value, right? This is x x will be a smaller value compared to this, right? Because our array is sorted. So x minus this value basically will give us a negative value, right? So uh, negative value. So let's just put like negative a or a negative b, right? So b is the value. And then this case, this is bigger value. This big value, right? Bigger than x, right? This value is bigger than x. So this value minus x will be a positive value. So this will be a positive value, right? So a negative value, is less than the positive value so we have to search on the left right right it makes sense and same thing here um why does this condition work because you can see here this value right here x is bigger than this value right so therefore this is a positive value and in this case this minus x in this case is going to be a negative value right because this is smaller than this so if this is smaller than this then it will be a negative value right this minus this will be a negative value Right, so that's why this condition works, right? And let's say we have go over another example like this, right? Where this distance right here is smaller, right? Smaller than this distance right here, right? So we have to uh, move the window to the left, right? So in this case, the both pointers move to the left, right? So in this case, this condition will also work. So you can see here, this is basically how we're going to solve the problem. We're going to use binary search, and then we're going to search from. Uh, we're basically going to search the left boundary. Once we f find the left boundary, we can be able to find the um, the actual uh, the actual k closest element, right? So what we do first is we, we define our pointer, right? And the right is equal to array dot left minus k. So while left is less than right, uh, we have our we define our midpoint, and then what we do is um, we basically just gonna check to see if x minus array at mid, right? Just like I mentioned before, if um, in this case, if x minus the left boundary is bigger than the uh, the right boundary minus the left uh, minus the target, then we know that we have to shift right. We have to shift the uh, the window to the right so that in this case, what's going to happen right here in this condition is that we have the distance between the distance between the left right. This is our left, and then this is the x. And this is our right, right? So you can see in this case, what's happening here is that this distance right here, right? In this case, this distance right here is actually bigger, right? In this case, this distance right here is actually bigger than this distance right here, right? This is A, this is B, and A is bigger than B, right? And similarly, this one right here, if we have a situation where left, right is uh in this case is actually smaller than or equal to right or equal to x so if it's smaller than right in this case this this is right here let's say this is a this this is right here is b so b is bigger than a so what we have to do is we have to shift to the right let's say shift to the left so we have to get right is equal to mid right and then once we because we have to do some post processing right so in this case if left is equal to right Right, so we break the while loop, and then what we're gonna do is that we're going to iterate from left uh, to the right boundary, which is basically left plus k, and then we're gonna add each and every single element onto the list. And you can see that this algorithm will basically give us a time complexity of big O of log, right, log n minus k, right. 
So basically, this is how we solve the problem, and the space complexity is big O of k, because we have to add k number of elements onto the, to the list. So there you have it, and thank you for watching.